Hello friends, welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Um, it's been about three weeks since I made a video. Um, during that time I have been sewing quite a bit, mostly um, things for the <clears throat> excuse me craft fair that I was doing. I did do the craft fair, I had spoken about it. It's the second craft fair that I've ever done. Um, it was better than the first but I only sold two items. I sold a Christmas pillow cover and I sold an eyeglass case. Um, and that's not enough. Um, I had to pay my, I didn't have to, but he's a whole lot more willing um, to help me <clears throat> when I give him some money. Uh, and that's my grand boy. Um, so I had to pay him $20 and then the entry to uh, be a vendor was $30 I think so it was another bust um, there's a another craft fair in my area next Saturday the 8th and I'm not doing it um, I have a prior commitment I have a meeting church related that was already on the schedule and so that's not gonna happen and I don't even know that I would do it had I not had that prior engagement um, so we'll we'll see i've not given up but probably the one on the 8th of december um will probably be the last one of the season so my items are largely seasonal i would say and craft fairs are pretty much seasonal usually fall and christmas time but um i did find some something that was pretty cool um i like i think i've shown you before a handbag that i had made with a pattern i'd given you the pattern sites so free it was a free downloadable thing in a youtube video was what it was and uh, so i showed you that i found another free pattern for a crossbody bag and this pattern was on sewmamaso dot com that's s-e-w-m-a-m-a s-e-w dot com um, and I made it um, the instructions are not that great um, you do sort of have to fill in the blanks a little bit there is no associated video with it so you're looking at a blog basically where everything's listed out there are some pictures um, but I think there, there are things that could be added to the um, explanations um, to make it a whole lot easier. And let me show you the bag. This is it. Um, I had ordered this llama fabric, I think from fabric.com and uh, thought it was really cute. So I bought some. This blue striped fabric behind here you've seen before. Now, I just thought this was so cool because what it is is this outer piece here which attaches to the um, strap and the same outer piece on the other side that attaches to the purse this is actually sewn in here but these two pieces are the one thing you have to be careful about with this pattern is that you when you cut this outer piece you cut both pieces with this thing on the same side so the strap can attach on opposite sides so this piece here with this this little curve part is the very same as this piece here so when you lay it out on your fabric you cannot lay your fabric the traditional way of uh, wrong sides together because if you do that you'll cut opposites um, of, of this shape so you don't want to do that so this curvy shape these two curvy shape pieces here make some really nice pockets so these are for the lack of a, a better term are outer pockets i guess and then, and this outer pocket is lined. I lined it with like a tangerine kind of color. And then this inner piece, which is the, you know, a big piece with a zipper, which is also lined. 
is nothing more than a zippered pouch. So when you sew this whole thing together, you're really sewing a zippered pouch. And if you've ever done one of those, there are just tons of videos on YouTube about a zippered pouch. That's pretty much what you're doing. You're sewing a zippered pouch together with this piece um, already sewn to the exterior piece of the zipper pouch. So what you end up doing is treating this piece and the exterior piece as one piece and then you just sew a zipper pouch. Um, I had no trouble figuring this out as long as I paid attention to that. I think I did cut the initially when I cut this outer piece. I think I did cut it on my fabric with um, wrong sides together so that um, it didn't work out for um, you know the straps to connect on the opposite side so I just recut it it's not a lot of fabric you can make this with very little fabric I enlarged mine by an inch and that just means that on the side that does not have the curvy piece I added an inch over here and I added an inch to the bottom it doesn't affect anything um, if you do that you will need some hardware and what you will need of course is the zipper um, you will also need i've never used one of these sewn with one of these but this is a slide so that your strap is adjustable and you also need a d-ring and i went to walmart and found some one inch d-rings and um, my d-ring is uh, like a black kind of tarnished look and this slider is silver toned but it doesn't matter you really can't see the d-ring very much it kind of blends in with the the blue denim -y color so i like it um one of the things missing on the instructions is and i went back and looked to try to find it because it was kind of surprising that it wouldn't be there is the length of the strap it doesn't tell you it tells you the width of it but it doesn't tell you the length i cut mine because i thought my daughter would like it she didn't um to 36 inches um but and i'll show you let me stand up you'll get my head cut off but uh, but so that is 36 inches it hits me right here and there is enough right here to lower it or raise it if you if you wanted to so for me and i'm almost five 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 four and a half this is perfect 36 inches if you're making it for a taller person i would certainly make it 38 inches long if you're making it for um a teenager or, or you know 12 13 year old girl i would um maybe 34 inches would be reasonable and I would not make it bigger. I wouldn't enlarge it for um, a child, a, a little girl. So um, that's that. It's quite roomy. Um, I have not used it. Um, I'll probably end up giving it away. Just as a secondary sort of piece of information is that it's interesting when you try to put the strap on and make sure that it's smooth and not twisted. I The first time I did it, you know, trying to do this slider thing, um, it's kind of hard to get the fabric because this is um, this does have some stabilizer in it um, which makes it quite a bit thicker and the end is sewn here so it was a little bit of a challenge to get it through the slider it's not definitely not impossible um, because I did it but um, to get it in there and have it where this is one smooth strap with no twist in it um, you really have to think about it so I highly recommend this. Um, what you do is you, um, this is my enlarged version. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, you print that out and, um, and just cut it out and um, sew it together. Um, so if you go to Sew Mama Sew, you'll find the instructions she calls it if you just page through the free patterns but the official name of this is j the letter j small crossbody bag by nisa n-i-s-s-a made.com for so mama so um, and i've already started um i'm probably not that motivated anymore since i made the first one but i've already started cutting out another one and this is uh a, a muted kind of a pink color 
and this would probably be for the lining. Um, and again, just to remind you that both pieces are cut the same with this curvy piece on the very same side. Um, and don't make the mistake that I made. So uh, that's all I have. Um, next time I talk to you, I wanted to give you a list of sources for really nice free patterns that work. Um, I'll give you a list of ones that I've tried and also ones that I have not tried. Um, but seem to be fairly reputable and um, have lots of patterns to uh, look at. And, uh, and that's it. I hope you guys have a good uh, early December. Um, I am getting ready for Christmas, as you can probably see behind me. I've got some gifts wrapped already. Actually, most are wrapped. I'm pretty much done, except for a couple of other items. So have fun shopping and wrapping, and I will see you in a bit. Thank you for watching.